So listen, can I get you anything? Something to eat, drink? Oh, no, thanks, really. You've got to rest up, Mum. Yeah, I know. I know. Don't fuss. Yeah, so I had a, a couple meetings today, but uh, obviously I'll, I'll cancel it. What? No way. I just want to sleep, if I'm honest. The woman in the bed next to me snored like an elephant. And every five seconds, people were coming in to take my obs. I'm shattered. Are you sure? Positive. Where are you off? Work meetings. I thought you meant video calls. You can't leave it. State she's in. The doctor gave me the all clear. It was only yesterday. She was sprawled out across the floor. She can't be on her own. Yes, she can. Well, uh, perhaps you could stay with her. I've got to go to the cab office. Oh, get yourselves to work, the pair of you. I'll see you later. <laughs> Where's your compassion? Hey, in the bin. That's what it is. Tim? Please. Hi. Hi. Still here? Tim popped in again. Oh, how lovely. We just had sandwiches, haven't we, Mum? Oh, congratulations. Sandwiches with bread. Sandwiches. With this bread. Hey, and what is this? How did it get here? Ah, uh, probably in a carrier bag from a grocery store. But that's where you were when Mum collapsed. At Freshco's, getting bread. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So how did that bread get here, then? It... <laughs> Are you feeling OK? Is, is he OK? Don't gaslight me. I saw it on the side when we came to get Mum's stuff. Stop it! This is bonkers! But apparently he'd not been back into this flat. He went out to get the bread, and when he came back, he saw Mum in the ambulance. Then we all went to hospital where he had no bread. Zero bread. Not a crumb. So how did... that bread... magically end up here, then, eh? I won't stand here any longer and listen to this. You are not making sense. All right, let me spell it out for you, then. You came in, you saw my mum on the floor, and you walked out. You... you honestly think I would... I would leave her in that state? Well, how did that bread get here, then? This is a new loaf! What? I went out first thing this morning and bought it, so we had it fresh. I saw it yesterday. I picked the flaming thing up. You've got this very wrong, Tim. You are accusing me of something awful, and quite frankly, it's ridiculous. And I have the right to tell it how it really was. I'm listening. Oh, first time for everything. I'm trying to protect you. From a kind and gentle man who loves me. You're deluded, Mum. Listen, enough! Now, before she was taken to hospital, your mother was feeling unwell. You know that. So I went to make her a sandwich. The bread was moldy, so I went to Freshco's. They didn't have her favorite, so I decided to order lunch in as a treat to make her feel better. I came home, saw the ambulance, and the rest you know. There was already bread here. Correct! The moldy loaf I threw away last night after I was at the hospital with your mother. But there's bread here now. As I said, I was at Breshko's at dawn today waiting for the bread delivery. Listen, I was feeling useless. I was desperate to make you better. And, okay, maybe I... I overthought it. Yeah, you don't care what bread we have, but I was worried about you. I, I am worried about you. All right, so if you'd been to Freshco's, how come you came back via Rosamond Street? Hmm? Come the scenic route, did you? Okay. You got me. I hold my hands up. I do not deal with illness very well. I go to the extreme in my head. I, I spiral, I suppose, particularly when it has to do with someone I love. So I needed a minute to collect myself. Now, I, I didn't want you to see me worried. I, I want to be your rock. So I, I took a detour to Roy's, had a coffee, took a minute to calm myself. And I cannot tell you how utterly guilty I felt when I saw you being wheeled into that ambulance. I mean, I stopped for a drink and, and, and you could have died as a result. I am so, I am so sorry. You did nothing wrong. Oh, look, Stevens explained himself to you. What do you want, blood? I don't. But he might. Oh, that's enough. Get out. Go on, get out!
come spout more lies, have you? I'd like to offer an olive branch in the uh, shape of a pine lager. I don't want anything from you. I think you do. I think you want me to be a good man for your mother, but you're terrified that I'm not. I know you know. You think I, I don't deserve her? I know what you're doing, putting on that stupid soft voice. I said, I'm not doing anything except wanting to build a life with your mother. No, seriously, what possible motive could I have for wanting to bring harm to her? I don't know yet, but I don't trust you as far as I could throw you. Listen, trust is earned, I understand that, but I don't think it's fair dragging my name through the mud with unfounded allegations. Now please, man to man, can you give me a break? This is hard on your mum. Don't make her choose. All right. Maybe I did go into the deep end. But I'm keeping my eye on you. Good. You'll see I've got nothing to hide. <laughs>